my name is Ali, and today we're going to learn about Kwang Hae-kun and Injo. Injo was who threw Kwang Hae-kun out of his throne, and he he just ruled over instead. It's because he thought Kwang Hae-kun was doing the wrong way, but he was wrong. We're going to see what was wrong. What way did he do? Something bad like killing people? No, not at all. Let's move on. And Kwang Hae-kun became king. Well, in his rule, the Myung sent a message to them. We need help. Please send lots of soldiers. We need to fight with Hugum. That is a land who lived next above Myung. He, they just, you might have heard of them in the past. In Korea, there were. No, or maybe not. I'm not sure, but it turned to Cheng when there was Pyeong Jahoran. We're going to learn that later on. And he did send them, but he told a man called Kang Horim, who was going with them, to surrender if, if there's a bad reason for that. If they run away, to surrender and tell the Hukums what we really want to do. We didn't send them by our mind, like Young asked us to. And that succeeded. How nice. And then, but some of them didn't say it was right, because Young helped them during Injinwera, and they thought they shouldn't treat them equally. Like, we must serve Young better than Hugum. So they disagreed. That's how Injo Panjong, Panjon, Panjon, Chong started. Sorry about your pronunciation. Let's move on. And you know, Injimaran happened before this chapter. So that's why everything was destroyed. The fields were all burned and destroyed. Chaos ruled over the land. So they decided fixing them. Like taking off dust off the soil and making it good for plants to grow again. So they could farm. And they prepare for war again. Because they might, some of, any of the other lands can attack them. So they broke up the broken walls. And they fixed the broken walls. And then they, and they trained soldiers at the military offices. And they did Taedongpo. At Gyeonggi though, there was, it was hard to find specialties. And they had to pay taxes well they they have to like pay specialties to the government as well as other taxes so that was a problem but from him like from then he decided you can pay rice or cloth or money instead so that could that help citizens a lot and Tongi Bugam was made and that helped our help the citizens greatly, so they could get easier, easier medicines to drink. And Jungli Buego, that's where Kwang Ye Gun, as you can see in this picture, he's doing it equally. So he's not going. Too much this way or this way. So that was nice. Even though Myung was going down, like he's been, they're getting more weaker every day. But Hugum is right, gaining power every day. So he chose to be equal so they won't have to fight against either country. How nice. But Injo didn't realize how good it was. He thought. Only Myung is good for us. How weird. I think that's better. This. Equal. It might have been nice to attack Chuhugum, but Myung could attack us. I think Pangyun didn't want a war for the citizens. I think they he tried to avoid that, but Injo made a big, big, terrifying war. That is named Pyeongja Horan. The first one, Cheongmyo Horan. Let's learn how that happened. In 
Jinju was once named Nung Yang Kun. That was his name then. They they said that he had lots of things that he didn't did right, especially like Chungli Bwegu. And he also sent his older brother to he punished his older brother and sent his Ibok Dongseng, that is the father is the same, but the mother is different. Like he married two women. And and he had a baby, which was a younger brother, but he just made him die. And he just disrounded his Yongchan Daegun's mother, which is Imok Debi, that means Imok Kun. Maybe just a something like a queen. So he became king after that. Like this. Like this. And he was punished and then he became king. Well after that disastrous happened. Because of he didn't trust in Hukum and they didn't even like like Hukum at all. So Hukum attacked them and a war started. A very long war. He escaped to Naman Tansung, but still they had to surrender. You have to study about it. You really have to study about it. If you're Korean, you must never, we must never let it happen again. That's what I learned. I actually went to Naman Sonso. It's awesome there, but still, you have to learn what history came with it. There's lots of beauty in it, but there's tragic stories about it as well, so you must learn about it. If you're watching this video, you must promise me, okay? Now let's move on. And Jongmyoholan happened because Hugum said to her, like, Joseon's king doesn't like us. We should attack. So they did. Well, they they promised to, to be nice to each other, but they didn't. So they attacked. After they changed their num in, name into Chong. No Hugum now, Chong. So they surrendered very cruelly. Okay, and we did, we invented a new farming. We learned how to do a new farming and we grew insam and tambe. Tambe is smoking. It's a plant that grows very long. Ginseng. It's a ginseng. They grew it and they sold it to a market, and that's how we, they got money much easily. From then, everything worked out very fine until these wars happened. Well, today, I won't do the review because Lee Soon Shin and Lee Sam Pyeong were very famous to me. Well, today my video isn't very perfect enough because I think it's because it was too late and I didn't have enough time or. I have to study very quickly so I can finish it early and I go to sleep. Sorry about that. I promise I'll do my next video much perfect and much prepared. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you watch it again if you thought it wasn't perfect enough. Goodbye!